I'm Naomi Kyle and this is IGN News. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory researchers development of robots to study terrestrial volcanoes may be used to explore volcanoes on other planetary bodies like Mars in the future. Carolyn Parchetta, NASA postdoctoral fellow based at JPL and JPL Robotics researchers and co-advisors Aaron Parnes and Carl Mitchell are creating robots that can enter geological crevices inaccessible to humans to gain valuable data. In a NASA JPL press release, Parchetta said, we don't know exactly how volcanoes erupt. We have models, but they they are all very, very simplified. This project aims to help make those models more realistic. She added that the research can be used on extraterrestrial volcanoes as both Earth and Mars fissures have common physical features. It could also be the case for previously active volcanoes on the Moon, Mercury, and Europa. Parchetta continued, in the last few years, NASA spacecraft have sent back incredible pictures of caves, fissures, and what look like volcano events on Mars and the Moon. We don't have the technology yet to explore them, but they are so tantalizing. Working with Carolyn, we're trying to bridge the gap using volcanoes here on Earth for practice. We're learning about how volcanoes erupt here on Earth too, and that has a lot of benefits in its own right. The team used the concept of another robot called DROP, standing for Durable Reconnaissance and Observation Platform, and redesigned it to work inside a volcano, creating the two-wheeled robot called VolcanoBot. VolcanoBot 1 entered an active fissure on the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii last May. VolcanoBot 1 mapped the pathways of magma for several days and descended to depths of 82 feet in two locations allowing the team to build a 3D map of the fissure. In order to eventually understand how to predict eruptions and conduct hazard assessments, we need to understand how the magma is coming out of the ground. Parchetta said, this is the first time we have been able to measure it directly from the inside to centimeter scale accuracy. In order to explore deeper inside Kilauea and investigate the fissure's bottom, the team developed a smaller robot measuring 10 inches with stronger motors and electrical communications. Volcano Bot 2 stores data on board and also sports a better electronical connection, so the team can use the 3D sensor's live video feed for navigation when they test it at Kilauea in early March. For all your weird space news, you're right here on IGN.